Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about British Army rations. But most importantly, what I'm going to talk about is how to pack the rations when you go in on exercise. So when you are hungry, you know exactly where to go in your Bergen or in your webbing, and you've always got something to eat on you at all times as well, which is fairly important, especially if you're on a really arduous exercise. I'm not going to dwell too much on what's in the ration pack and start doing all the taste testing and things like that because there's loads of videos on that already on youtube what i want to go do is give you quality information on how best to store your rations what to do with your rubbish and where to pack them on your person and in your bergen like i said so we'll open this bad boy up and uh see what we got so this is uh menu three ration to combat 24 hours so I tend to try and open it from the bottom really if i can oh, my god right okay so we'll we're going to keep this bag as it is okay so we're going to put everything that we don't need in this bag don't just tear the bag open okay so you're going to put everything you don't want in this bag what you can do then is think about either swapping it for other food or just giving it away to someone else who might want the stuff that you don't want so tissues you're gonna need these for going to the toilet especially if you're doing what's called a shovel recce where you are going for a number two in the woods you're gonna need these Keep them on your person. That is what I recommend. Sticky toffee pudding. You're going to have to heat this up. That's a definite, okay, with sticky toffee pudding. That has to be heated up. Otherwise, it's absolutely gross. You've got your hot chocolate mint. That's a bit of luck. Hot chocolate mint. I like that. And then you've got things like your raspberry power drink. I don't like these. That's going in the rubbish. What's next? A cola flavoured drink powder. Not taking that. Rubbish. Fruit flavoured energy drink. That is... I'll probably... I'll, it's dependent on the exercise. If you're going on an arduous exercise and you want something to drink other than water, me personally, I'd be just drinking water. But if you wanted to take something like this, you could take it. So we'll put it in the take pile. And then here we've got a sesame seed bar that's coming with me. Uh, peanut butter, one hundred percent coming with me. That is a tutti frutti drink powder. I don't know why you'd need all this stuff for one day. You don't need it. Uh, biscuits brown. They these are okay, and they used to uh, essentially just plug you up, and you can put if there's anything here. What we got. So that's what your um, peanut butter is going to go on, your biscuits brown. Thai style chicken soup, that would be quite nice. Then you've got your tropical fruit and nut mix for your snack. Your Tabasco sauce, need that bad boy. And your steak, vegetables and dumplings. So that's everything you're going to be eating throughout your 24 hour period. Oh, here we go. What's this? Feedback and prize entry draw. If anyone wants to enter that. You've also got chicken, sausage, and beans as well. That's coming with me. Right, here you've got your spoon and your teas and your coffees. So. This here can also be used for your gash bag when you're going away on exercise, okay? Make sure you take something to put all your rubbish in. Otherwise, you're gonna have nowhere to put it. And once you've eaten something like Thai-style chicken soup, you're not gonna wanna just put that straight back into your burger and your side pouches or something. What you need to do is put it in a bag like this, okay? And then keep it sealed up. Then when you get back and you've finished, or there's a bin and people generally go around with a gas bag, you can just empty it out, chuck it in there. So that's what you're going to use this for, as well as one other thing. Right, your alcohol-free bacterial wipes. You can use them on your hands, or 
you can use them on your ass basically if you've just done a shovel recce but what i would advise taking is some wet wipes with you as well which can be used for your cam cream and after you've done your shovel recce that'll be coming with us spork if you want to take it if you've got your own don't take this there's no need if you've got your own in your webbing or your day sack or your bergen you can take something like that coffee want to take coffee and cream look if you don't like coffee don't take coffee if you don't like tea don't take tea i know i won't be drinking it so i'm not going to bother with that there's a lot of creamer here as well and there are um some water purification tablets look you're gonna know if you need water purification tablets or not when you're going on exercise if you're going into the jungle you're gonna need them but if you're using these this is pretty much a last resort so they're going white sugar i don't have sugar four packs of white sugar don't have sugar go in thai food another tea bag go in chewing gum i like that take that and uh, also some matches. That's up to you whether you take matches. The good things about these is that they're waterproof matches. So if you had a smoker and it's hammering down with rain, then what you can do is use these rather than a lighter if it's not going to work. They'll be, well, you either take them or not. It depends whether you're gonna set fires or anything, but they'll come with me just in case. So back in this bag, Go in this for the time being. And then we're gonna stick our energy drink in there. Tissue papers are staying on the person. We we'll stick that in there as well. And then what we're gonna do now, we've got everything sorted out. We're gonna start divvying up between our Bergen and our webbing so let's get into that right then now to the webbing so in my webbing i'm gonna my first aid kit in that pouch i've got my metal mug see a lot of action in this bad boy so in my metal mug is going to go my snacks tropical fruit mix a biscuit browns sesame seed bar, peanut butter, and my whitener, something for the brew at the same time. So they go in, in my webbing, so I've always got something to eat, should anything happen, and I always know all my snacks are in my webbing. So that's that dealt with, webbing done. I've always got something to eat now, in my webbing so i've got some decent snacks now we'll have a look at what we're going to put in the burger right so my burger how are we going to do this i always pack everything exactly the same when it comes to going on exercise or ops or anything like that so what we'll do i tend to put all my food in my rocket pouch on the side pouches so in one side pouch i've got warm kit and wet kit in another side pouch, I've got all spare clothes that I'm gonna take and things like your DOS bag and any uh, equipment that you'll be taking on exercise with you and any mission ready and mission critical things. So, in one side pouch, we're gonna put our steak and vegetable uh, and dumplings and the Thai style chicken soup. That's gonna go in. along with your uh, chicken, sausage, and beans. You wanna stick this in here now, and you know exactly where it is. And the other one, we're gonna stick in your other brew kit and your dessert. And then you now know exactly where all your food is. So when you are starving, especially when you're tired, you're gonna to wanna to know where everything is. And a lot of things now, what'll happen is you'll be able to do by feel. So when it is pitch black at night and you are hungry and you want your sticky toffee pudding and you can't see anything between your two pouches, you just open it up 
you can have a feel around in the dark and then you'll probably feel something in here which will feel like your your brew bag with your drinks in and that and then you know your sticky toffee pudding is next to it and that is how i've always done it whenever i've gone on exercise etc so that is my advice when it comes to ration packs one last thing Keep these on you. Don't forget them. Now you're left with your rubbish. So, I'm gonna stick all this gas bag, and then you can hand it over to someone should you want to. And then you've also got your clear bag in there to use for your gas bag as well. There are other little bits and pieces in there if you can take them out and start putting around perhaps your webbing again. Or failing that, you can take your own bag as well. But what you don't want to be doing is taking too many bags uh, with you when, you when you go on exercise and that. Other than that, if you do have any questions, please let me know and I'll get back to you straight away. Take care. Bye.